Hey everyone, TGIF, Tony George, DocSports.com. Couple of college football games. We'll talk about both of them tonight. Give you a lean in the Louisville and Florida State game. We'll also tell you all of our footballs out for the weekend. We got a seven unit top play on Saturday, a six unit top play on Sunday in the NFL. Um, but we're going to talk about the free plays. And of course, last night's free play, you kind of either won, pushed, or lost on the total depending on where you got your line during the week and the Chargers covered on what was an epic game last night. Just a great football game to watch. Amazon Prime. Um, kind of like watching a Godzilla, a Japanese Godzilla movie back in the 60s with the sound. What they were saying wasn't matching what their lips were. It was behind or in front of the feed, the audio, when they showed close-ups. It was a little weird, but Herb Street and Michaels, good, great combination. A lot better than Buck and Aikman on Monday night. Ugh. But that being said, a couple of very good quarterbacks, a couple of the top two or three quarterbacks in the NFL last night going at it. Um, Herbert's a warrior. That throw he made on fourth and one in the fourth quarter to get him down there, uh, the previous play he could barely even get rid of the ball. He got hurt ribs of some sort. I haven't seen the injury report this morning, but that kid was hurting. He's a warrior. And a great ball player. Really good quarterback. And Mahomes had some Mahomes magic last night. Uh, Kansas City got outplayed, and yet they still won. Doesn't break my heart. I'm a Kansas City fan. But they got outplayed for most of that game. But they took advantage of situations. And, you know, you just can't turn a ball over, especially a pick six in the fourth quarter on the road against Kansas City in a tight ball game. That sealed your fate right there. But uh, a precursor. Of this upcoming Sunday, we're still going to be wild and wacky. So uh, let's get the let's talk about these games tonight, and then tell you what's going on uh, over at the website. Get ready to get lock in some winners this upcoming weekend. We've got a top play in Major League Baseball today, so we'll get to that. But uh, the late game here, uh, Air Force and uh, Wyoming. Air Force, I don't think it's going to be an underdog all year long. They're a really good football team. This could be an unbeaten football team. You know, bringing in, why do we only have four teams in the playoff? You know, uh, number one in the country at running the football. Uh, Wyoming has a way up in Laramie. Um, just of mucking up the whole program. I This number, that number's sharp. I just don't see any, is Air Force going to win? Yeah. Am I going to lay that kind of number on the road on a Friday night? I mean, they easily could win 47-10. It also could be a 35, you know, 25 ball game. I mean, I just don't see any value. Air Force is going to win that game. But I'm just not laying that kind of – and the altitude doesn't bother them. So it's 7,000 feet up there in Laramie, but where they play, it's 5,000 feet. So they're used to the, the thin air altitude. Uh, in the other game, I think, you know, we've lost some value here. I like Florida State in this game. Uh, they were at one and a half. Now they're at two and a half. The money line's 140 if you want to take the points out of it. But, you know, um, a couple of things here. Uh, a minor key is the fact that Florida State's had a week off to look at two Louisville uh, game films. They've played both of them very tough ball games. Uh, Syracuse, who I had against them in the first week, and then uh, Central Florida, where they found their offense out of nowhere in the second half. And Gus Mazelon did what Gus Mazelon did down in Auburn. That's why he got fired. Can't coach. Can't close out a game. Um, but that being said, um, I think Florida State's going to dominate the line of scrimmage. Uh, especially on the offensive side of the ball when they're on offense. Um, they are, and if you take a look at Florida State, uh, we talk about the old Joe Gavassi, an old guy I learned a lot of handicapping stuff from. The 200-200 club. And Florida State to this point in the season is right at it. 268 yards rushing the football, 248 yards throwing the football. That's balance on offense. I mean, that every team wants that scenario. Every, Alabama, Georgia, they all want it. Everybody. I wish Nebraska had it, my, my alma mater. 
But that's balance on offense. They have beaten a uh, top 25 team, um, albeit a fluke. But a win is a win, you know. And the mismatch here is Louisville up front on defense is not that stout. They're allowing 208 yards rushing per game. And they haven't played a team as good as Florida State at running the ball with those kind of athletes. And I think that's the difference in this ball game. Four to seven point win. Added time to repair. I think they got a little bit more team speed as well. Small lean. We're not unloading two dimes on it. Not even a nickel. I put a hundy on it myself. All my free picks, I put a $100 bill on. You know, I want to feel a little sting if they lose. You know, just like you guys, because a lot of you guys skip the premium stuff and only bet the free stuff. Speaking of the premium stuff, over at Doc Sports Day, we have a six-unit Major League Baseball totals pick of the week. Um, I passed yesterday. We cashed Tuesday, Wednesday. I've hit eight of our last 12 cards in baseball. And uh, we have a six-unit. This line's weak. This line's weak. Get on it. Uh, on Saturday, we have a seven-unit top play. I don't going back to last year and fifteen and three with six, seven, or eight-unit plays. Fifteen out of eighteen—that's eighty-six percent against spread. Last week we had a heart attack seven-unit winner on Tennessee. Oh, uh, let's have. I'm. I don't think this one's going to be that tight. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wouldn't put seven units on it if I thought it was going to be a tight game. Seven unit top pick on a four pack and in the NFL I'm going low volume. Three plays, two sides in a total, and one of the sides is a six unit top pick. The NFL staff has been fired. These are on me. I bet them. I put them in my circuit contest picks. I'm ready to go. We've got a teaser on there that's golden. And then on Monday night we have a totals play out of one of the two games. And then we have a teaser play involving both games for Monday night. WNBA will be back Sunday. We had a loss last night. We had a seven-unit win before that one, but I um, thought Vegas just might win it on the road. Um, but, boy, Connecticut put on a display of defense and just all around. That's the best game they played in the postseason. And they played a couple good ones, especially against Chicago. That was a display there, though, last night. So, and the prop bets in the NFL won. We split one and one, but we won our top pick on the card. Eight and three run. Double header today. Major League Baseball prop bets. Doc Sports, free 60 bucks. Link in the description below. Check out six free picks for myself and Scott Spritzer right here on this YouTube page. Doc six and six, live from Red Rock, or taped at Red Rock, Red Rock Sportsbook. And we'll have some football picks up for you over the weekend as well. Best of luck on Friday.